Hi. Here is a video covering the tomato, uh, the inflammation causing tomato. And everyone loves tomatoes. You're probably going to be uh, unhappy with uh, the information that I'm going to present in this video, but uh, reality is, uh, is important. Okay. Let's see if I can get this slideshow going here. Okay, inflammation, no tomatoes cure video. All humans did not evolve eating tomatoes or tomato products. Just a short time ago, more, than, more and more humans began eating tomatoes during the 18th century. Tomatoes have a history of causing inflammation in the body and doing harm because the tomato plant contains two poisons that the plant uses as pesticide. It's a natu those are naturally occurring poisons uh, that the body or the uh, tomato plant uses as a natural defense against bugs, worms and such. Consuming tomatoes means you are consuming tomatine and solanin the two poisons that are a leading cause of inflammation in the human body. The inflammation Richter scale is your body tissues recording or noticing pain and swelling or weight gain and uneasiness. Inflammation occurs in many forms. Obesity is one form of inflammation. Skin condition or skin issues like psoriasis is another form of inflammation. Arthritis, the bone joint inflammation, and muscle tendon inflammation like tendonitis are others. Also, the painful condition of fibromyalgia is caused by the poisons in tomatoes. The only way to test if tomatoes are causing you harm, upset, is to stop eating them for a while, maybe even six months, to clear out all the toxins tomatoes present. And if you are not convinced after stopping eating all forms of tomato for six months, you then can do a tomato challenge where you eat two tomatoes per day for 14 days and notice the effects on your body. Find out if there's any inflammation that's, that occurs. If you think after doing the food challenge, you might have issues with tomatoes, uh, then you might want to cut out all the foods in the nightshade family, like eggplant. Uh, there's several peppers I believe that are involved. You'll have to do a search on that to get a list of the nightshade vegetables. Okay, here's my question to you guys. If the general population has a problem with inflammation, as an example, the obesity epidemic, should not tomatoes be suspect as to a cause of inflammation that, that, that is causing obesity? So that's my question, you guys. I want to know if, if you think that if our society has a huge problem with inflammation and that we know for a, pretty much a fact that tomatoes cause inflammation, and now that people are eating ketchup nearly on every meal, at every fast food stop they're eating ketchup, eating tomatoes uh, as much as they want, maybe that's what's causing our problems. Who knows? The tomato products include, okay, there's tomatoes, but then there's tomato products like ketchup, salsa, spaghetti sauce, t pizza, tomato sauce, hot sauce, etc. So, yeah, that's, that's more like the, the picture of the tomatoes, right? They have an, an evil side to them, I think. 
because they, they can they can create pain and agony in this form uh, you know with the psoriasis or that you can you can get uh, joint inflammation in your joints uh, you can you can have a lot of issues uh, with pain uh, peripheral neuropathy maybe who knows I think I think a lot of things are affected by tomatoes. This guy's got arthritis, if you see there. Uh, maybe it was because he was eating these tomatoes, chowing down on the tomatoes. Maybe that maybe that's what caused that. All right, do not eat tomato ketchup. It's one item that probably be best to avoid for a while if you want to see if if uh, this video it has any merit and this vegetable juice has tomatoes in it even though they're fruits I want to avoid V8 and if you go to a fast food restaurant they have tubs of it like this that are almost irresistible because they're sweet sweetened with high fructose corn syrup and it's a uh, a concentrated form of tomato so you may want to think twice about uh, stocking up on that and it's possible to achieve this figure right here if you eat right you don't even have to exercise that much all you got to do is figure out the foods that humans evolved with and it's it's probably a lot easier than you think all right uh, I think that's probably about it cuz I got six seconds left have a great day bye